Okay, <clears throat> we're ready for step 17, modeling the grill area, which is going to be really simple. So let's unselect the headlight, and let's add a cube to our scene. Pull it to the front. Go to F4, front view. And let's stretch this out to match the truck a little bit. Bring it out like that. And then go ahead and make it real super skinny. Probably about like that would be good. Because yeah, I think we're going to need a lot of these. It's up to you which way you want to make it. Okay, let's line it up where we should not have moved it from center. Let's make sure it's center. Let's go to coordinates and make sure it's on the, the X is zero. It is, okay. Top view. And let's pull it out here like this. And then bring this down like this and keep it a little bit thick. In the distance wise, I mean in the length wise. <clears throat> now, go to attributes. And we want to add a middle section. Let's make sure it added to it. There we go. It's got a middle line there. Make sure that we're in high detail. Okay. We just want one in the middle, one on the side. And what we also want to do is add this option right here, the flat tool, or the flat option. Flat option. Okay, but we don't want that much on it. We want it more nice and square. So let's just actually change this down to two and then change this to uh, 0 0.5. There we go. Now we got a nice looking object here. Actually, I put that in the wrong spot. We want to put that in the X. There we go. Okay, now we've got that. Push make editable. And let's go to the top view. Go to point mode and just grab these right there and move them up a little bit so that they match the truck itself. So let's go ahead, zoom in a little bit. Now, if we pull these back, selecting all the points, let's see if we line up pretty good. We need to move it up a little bit more. There we go. Select them all again. Don't worry about this side. It's messed up. We're going to delete that side. Okay. That looks pretty good. See how it looks on the truck. Looks great. Now what we want to do is pull them down to the very front of the truck. And we want to do F3. We want to pull it down. And then we want to line it up where it belongs here. Okay, and I think our reference image is a little bit off. I should scoot it back, so we're going to leave it there. Um, and we want to line up the front of the tr bottom part right here. Okay, now next what we're going to do is duplicate this piece to go up here and uh, correctly line up with the truck right here. We're going to duplicate it. Okay, now we're going to duplicate this to fit in this area here. And what we want to go to is functions. The duplicate option. Let's line this up a little bit. Open up your attribute window and this is lined up. And I pre-figured out it's going to be about 23 copies I need. And I need to go in the uh, linear option. When you pick this up it'll first be like that but you'll pick this. And I want to move it in the Y axis about 4.95 and the Z about 0.25. Now, with you model this, you may have to play around with these to get it exactly where you want it to to uh, the spacing here, depending on how side you how big you set up your reference image, and how you space it, and how you sized everything. So, but these measurements worked out good for me. So you may have to play with them to get them exactly where you want to, and just push apply, and there we go, the grill's done. Okay. And what we'll do is go down here and we'll go into the Objects Manager. And we'll go ahead and open this up, drop the main cube, select that, select that, and come on. Drop it in there and just put front grill for the name. And we can drop it or leave it right there for right now. And there's our front grill. It's finished, looks pretty good. And that's it for step 17. Now we're going to head on to step 
18, which we're going to do the front bumper.